Hey guys, Desol back here in the Nerd Cave with part 4 of my 2021 movie collection series. We've been working our way through the boutique labels, so now we're up to Arrow. Got about 40 to 41 titles in the collection. Still trying to build it up. I do really enjoy the Arrow um, label. Um, I, I definitely have way more of, of the Scream Factory, um, but whenever I do see an Arrow sale or something for a good price, I try to pick it up, or if they have a release that I'm really excited about, um, I definitely try to pick it up when I can. So yeah, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here's the collection, guys, and I have it set up similar to how I set up the uh, Scream Factory collection where I have it um, alphabetical. Um, so the first few are the special edition sets that I have alphabetical. Then I have the ones with the slips alphabetical. And then I have just the Amores alphabetical. And then, yes, the still books alphabetical. So let me know in the comments. Am I just crazy? Do you guys do it the same way? Do you just kind of mix them up all together alphabetically? Uh, it's got to be a better way, but that's, you know, the way my... Um, OCD allows me to do it. So first up, we'll start with the uh, collection sets. And this is actually uh, one of the first collection sets I got. And this is the, uh, An American Werewolf in London. Uh, 1981 was a good year for werewolf films uh, between this and The Howling. I do like them both for uh, different reasons. I think as a, a movie as a whole, this is a better one. Uh, but if you're looking for straight up horror, then, you know, I would say uh, The Howling. Next one up is a... like an Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby kind of ripoff. It's Beyond the Door. It's it's funny for the wrong reasons. And, you know, I, I wasn't crazy about this film. You know, glad I have the set. Um, but, you know, I know there's a part two that I don't have that I think is a name only that doesn't have a proper Blu-ray release. And part three, I do have, um, as you saw in my Vinegar Syndrome collection. Next one up is Creepshow 2. Um, really like this movie. Uh, I do prefer the first one, which is right over there. And yeah, um, this is a Arrow exclusive store set, I think. I got some uh, notification about it and I didn't have this yet. Um, so I went and I picked it up. And you'll notice some of these are the Region B uh, versions. I know um, they're they're always having really good sales um, with the Region B stuff. And I do have a Region Free player, so I do pick those up on occasion. Next one up is a 4K set of Flash Gordon. And last one up within on the uh, special edition sets is uh, Tremors in 4K. This is an awesome movie. Um, one of the best kind of creature feature films. And this is really good on 4K. And then going into the slips. Uh, Fish Called Wanda. Really great comedy. Alice Sweet Alice. Uh, Young Brooke Shields. Brain Damage. Um, I picked this up. I was able to get this uh, uh, on Amazon. And I was surprised that it came with the slip. I thought I think at that point the slip was um, out of print. Uh, the movie itself I think was out of print, but I was lucky enough to pick it up. Um, I think there's like a second pressing of it now. Last Starfighter. Uh, I love this film. Uh, this is like the third version of this movie that I have. I have a DVD copy uh, and a kind of just a regular studio release uh, from a few years ago. So I had to pick this up. It has pretty good uh, special features on it. Next one up, Mallrats. Um, this is definitely my favorite uh, Kevin Smith film. And next one is Ronin. Got this for pretty cheap uh, at Hamilton Book. And the latest one is uh, Southland Tales. Now moving on to the Amores. Thanksgiving classic, Blood Rage. Calig uh, Caligula, uh, Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Next one up, uh, Deep Red. An early uh, Robert England film, Eaten Alive. I don't know if he's, I don't know if I could, you consider this a Robert England film. I think he's in it, but not too much. Is this Toby Hooper too? 
Yep, Toby Hooper directed. Next one up is Edge of the X. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Um, I just double dipped and pre ordered the steelbook of that. Flowers in the Attic. Messed up movie. Sorry for the uh, glare, guys. Next one up uh, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Now, unfortunately, I missed out on the Scarlet uh, box set. And I know the Region B has a set that's the same, you know, kind of the same thing. It's not the Scarlet set, but it has the three films. But I have the um, the first one on Steelbook, so I just picked up this one. I'm hoping that they release Part 3 uh, individually. Next one up is House, and I have this signed um, by William Catt and uh, George Went. I met them at a uh, Monster Mania convention, and um, I actually spoke with William Cat for a good 20-25 minutes just talking about my job, which he found very interesting, which it's not. So, um, But yeah, really cool guy, so definitely glad I have this signed. And here's the rest of the house collection. Um, I didn't pick up the... I got this individually before I got these, so I ended up just getting them all individually, actually through um, one of the uh, UK sales, so they came out pretty cheap instead of getting the whole box set. First one up is House 2. I actually really like this one. House 3, um, I haven't watched it yet. I know Scream Factory has a, a version of this. It was called The Horror Show in the US. Um, I believe that is just out of print. They say that this one's kind of similar to um, that Wes Craven film, Shocker. And last one up is House 4, The Repossession. Madhouse. Um, I wasn't crazy about this. I need to give it a second watch. Uh, maybe I was just too tired, but I feel like there was a lot of um, plot holes in this and things that just didn't kind of make sense at the end, but I'll have to rewatch it. Next up, Maniac Cop. Great film. Uh, Psycho 2. Uh, this is uh, the Region B version. I was very tempted uh, recently to get Psycho 2 uh, with Scream Factory. They just had a sale recently. I picked up 3 and 4, um, but at the end of the day, I decided not to double dip. Reanimator. Great movie. Jeffrey Combs. Um, just fantastic film. And um, Next one up is Bride of Reanimator. When you thought if you couldn't get any crazier than Reanimator, you get Bride of Reanimator. So um, this is another, um, this is actually an all-region copy. So and I believe Arrow just came out, I think, the Region B version of Beyond Reanimator. So I definitely need to pick that up. Uh, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. George Clooney, Clooney Classic. Slugs. Gross, but pretty good. Speaking of gross, Society. The Burbs. Great film. I love this movie. Great 80s film. Great Tom Hanks movie. It's got Corey Heyman. Uh, not Corey Heyman. Corey Feldman. Um, really good if you haven't seen it. Next one up is The Initiation. The Stuff. Can't get enough. The Thing, this is like my third version of this movie. I have the Arrow release. Um, I have Scream Factory Steelbook. And I have it on digital. Vamp. Um, amazing vampire comedy movie from the 80s. I really recommend it. Um, top three vampire movies for me. Um, next to Lost Boys and Fright Night. And Fright Night 2, so maybe top four. And now we're getting into the steel books. First one up is um, Hellraiser, and this is signed by uh, Clive Barker and Doug Bradley. The Hills Have Eyes. Last House on the Left. And last but not least, Robocop. Steelbook. I really wanted to get the uh, that you know chunky box limited edition set. Uh, missed out on it, but I was able to pick up the steelbook. So, 
so that's it guys that's my um arrow collection like i said you know um not the biggest collection but i'm st it's still growing uh let me know in the comments below um what's your favorite arrow release how big is your collection uh feel free to like share subscribe and until next time see you in the nerd cave